afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 Connecting Science Public Engagement Prizes Celebration. I'm Helen Arney, science comedian and your host for the next hour and a bit. I'm here to hold your virtual hand and guide you through what I like to think of as the Oscars ceremony of public engagement. The only difference here is that instead of a red carpet and designer clothes, we have video conferencing software and lockdown haircuts. But I promise you, all of the elements are in place for a Hollywood style celebration. There will be glitzy awards, there will be fabulous speeches, and there's even a specially written musical number from me, and perhaps even a tear or two will be shed. Hopefully not during my song. Please just save it up for the winners if you wouldn't mind. And to make today's online celebration a little bit more interactive, you will find a chat box under this video that goes by the name of Slido. Now it says something like, um, type your question. We don't want you to type questions, we want you to type congratulations. So after each award is presented, I'll be reading out a few selected comments about each of the winners. So please make them nice, but if you could also make them funny, that would be really great because then you're basically doing you, my job for me and thanks a lot in advance for that. But before we get there, it's my great pleasure to introduce our first guest speaker and about them, I will say only this. If the whole of Connecting Science were a cell, you know for sure that this person would be swimming around inside the nucleus. Please welcome Director of the Welcome Genome Campus Connecting Science, Julian Rayner. Thank you, Helen. Uh, it's a huge pleasure to have you host the awards tonight. And also, I've now thought about my job in a completely new way. I now think of myself as a small fragment of heterochromatin or something, which is, which is wonderful. Um, so a very welcome, warm welcome to everyone to the 2020 uh, Public Engagement Prizes celebration. Uh, as Helen said, I'm Julian, I'm Director of Welcome Connecting Science, and it's our mission to enable everyone to explore genomics and its impact on research, health and society. And specifically, we seek to help the amazing people on the campus to share their outstanding and inspirational work as widely as possible with public and professional audiences in order to inspire new thinking and spark conversations and support learning. I, I think that this, this prize ceremony is particularly timely because it goes without saying, we're living through a remarkable period on a, on a personal and national and global level. And I think we're all learning a huge amount about ourselves and about many things as we go through it. But one thing I'm learning is that it makes it completely clear why a program like Connecting Science and Public Engagement is so important. I think we can all see all around us, the barriers between research and healthcare and society and public attitudes blurring um, almost day by day. And the role that public audiences have to play in um, discourse around science and the role that we have in supporting researchers engage with public audiences becomes more important for e than ever. So this prize giving um, is an annual event for the last three years. We've held it in the beautiful surroundings of the Welcome Genome Campus Conference Center. And we would be having this session with the knowledge that there would be champagne and snacks to follow. Um, the fact that we have to do it virtually this year in no way, I hope, dims the importance and significance of this celebration, because I think it's a really critical part of what we do every year. And I hope that you all have something fizzy to hand so that you can sort of um, pretend that we were all together in one, in one space. The prizes that will be awarded tonight showcase the amazing efforts of staff all across the campus in engaging with public audiences. And this year we had a record 27 nominees. So tonight we'll be presenting awards to seven winners across five categories. And before we start, I'd just like to give my deepest congratulations to all of you, both all of the nominees and also all of the winners. And thank you for your sterling efforts, opening up the research of the campus to the broader world. Back to you, Helen. Thank you so much, Julian. Well, as your host, it's over to me to kick off these awards in true Oscars style with an opening monologue followed by a song, of course. What else could we have? Uh, so I'm gonna introduce myself a little more because we're going to spend the next few minutes together. So 
Hello, I'm Helen Arney. I'm a geek songstress. I'm a presenter. I'm one third of the science comedy supergroup Festival of the Spoken Nerd. And presenting these awards is, is just such an awesome experience, but I do feel a lot like a, a kind of like a tourist from another country because, because I studied physics. Yeah, physics, not biology, not data science, not the subject in the middle of that Venn diagram, bioinformatics, that didn't even exist when I studied. And it, it, so I'm here presenting your awards, but I haven't a clue what the three main steps of DNA replication are. I don't know what CRISPR stands for, and I have no idea how transgenerational epigenetic inheritance works. Although I kind of get the feeling I might not be alone on that last one. So there's actually two reasons why I chose to study physics. The first one is that my older sister had already started a genetics PhD by the time I had to pick my subject for university. And frankly, physics looked easier. So you know how teenagers are, right? They're always trying to rebel. So while the other kids in school were painting their bedrooms black and listening to rock music, I was reading Stephen Hawking and geeking out about the latest decimal place calculation for the Hubble constant of universal expansion. I mean, I also painted my bedroom black, but that was just to make it easier to see through my telescope at night. That's all. And the second reason I wanted to study physics was specifically at Imperial College, because someone told me that 90% of my first year would be male. And I like to think of that as the original Cox effect before Professor Brian, you know, invented that phrase. And what they didn't tell me at the time was that although the odds are good, the goods are odd. And thinking about it now, I think we were all a little bit odd, right? So nowadays I make my living playing comedy songs about science on a ukulele, right? And to answer your most obvious question, before you ask it, yes, my parents are very proud of Dr. Kat Arney, my oldest sister, yeah. And I'm actually, I'm gonna let you into a little secret here. Uh, don't tell me on this, but we have a third sister. Yeah, we don't talk about her because she is kind of the black sheep of the family. She made a couple of controversial life choices. She became an accountant. So let's talk about tonight's ceremony. It's the third year that these, these prizes have taken place, but like so many things in these unusual times, we're not live at the Welcome Genome Campus Auditorium. We are live in your living room or your spare room or your kitchen or your garden shed or your bathroom if you're really unlucky or whatever part of your house you've managed to turn into a makeshift office for the last six months. I mean, <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. Well done for making the most of what you've got away from that luxurious campus and all of the comforts it has. I mean, the place sounds amazing. So part of my job is to kind of put a um, positive spin on it. You might be missing access to vital scientific equip equipment. You might be missing your ergonomic office chair. You might be missing the culinary delights of Murray's restaurant, but, but think about it, right? Only project leads and directors usually get their own office. So you're in your own office right now. I mean, admittedly, you might be sharing it with several pets, or kids, or both, or your only company might be the remains of a hastily assembled cheese sandwich left over from lunch. Like, but think about it, it's still your own office. You can take a nap anytime you like, no one can truly tell what is in that coffee cup you're holding, and you get your own parking space right outside the building. You don't get that at campus. Although I have to say, the Cambridge genome Campus, the Cambridge Welcome Genome Campus. Okay, it's the Cambridge bit. Is it? Is it really in? Is it really in Cambridge? I mean, I think the Welcome Cambridge Welcome Genome Campus is to Cambridge what London Luton Airport is to London. It's like what Disneyland Paris is to Paris. It's it's like what South America is to the United States of America. 
And I'll be honest, they've got better shuttle buses between the two. So whatever your living situation, I do understand, right? The new normal stuff, it's really hard. You've been doing an amazing job and I've been doing it too. I've been working all summer at home with my four month old and my four year old who, like so many of you, has just started her first term at proper school. Yes! finally and we are lucky that she absolutely loves it but then again we we kind of thought she would because this is the same child who on her third birthday she asked for a cake but not a cake in the shape of a number three she asked for a cake in the shape of a number 20. why because she knew she would get more cake to eat right it's a smart move this is the future of science right here lateral thinking she's all over it so the amazing thing that happens when you're sharing your office space with some really really tiny co-workers is that although it's challenging every so often they will come up with something totally unexpected some nugget of wisdom that reminds you why you do what you do and my daughter came home from school last week and told me that they'd had their very first pe lesson and I thought fantastic you cannot start public engagement training too young I won't question why they're wearing sports kit for it but let's just go with it and I asked her what she thought about it and this is what I mean about kids telling the truth that adults don't dare to right? this is what she said she said PE mummy PE is hard one of the teachers made me jump through loads of hoops. Some of the other children didn't want to play with me, but I told them it was really fun. And then I showed them it was really fun. And then everyone wanted to join in. And mummy, it was the bestest thing I have ever, ever done. That conversation genuinely happened last week. That is truth bombs falling from the mouth of innocent children right there. So the last thing I have to do uh, before I welcome the real celebrities of this event, the prize givers and the prize winners, all I have left to do is a song. Now, one of the party pieces that I love to bring out for shows is that awards at award ceremonies like this is singing the entire periodic table. A lot of you know it, it's Tom Lehrer's element song. It's 102 elements of the periodic table set to a tune by Sullivan of Gilbert and Sullivan fame, right? It's one of the hardest things I have ever had to learn, but I love doing it. And you know what I thought I would do tonight, just for tonight, I'll never do this again. I thought I would make it even harder by rewriting it for the award ceremony. This time, instead of every single element known to humankind, I will be singing every single gene yeah um ob obviously i'm not going to do that <laughs> because we would we would never get to the prizes but on the other hand if i did do that by the time i finish singing we might have a vaccine for covid19 so it wouldn't be all that bad um so what i've done is i've scaled back and i've just picked 56 genes they're all taken from the dna of that ultimate genetic workhorse the humble fruit fly. There's Cleopatra, Capulet, Cap and Collar, Chickadee, Breathless, Bric-a-Brac, Hairy Ken and Barbie, Jelly Belly, Swiss Cheese, Genghis Khan and Gooseberry, Sloppy Paired, Slowpoke, Slipper Slouch and Say Yippee, Prospero and Pangolin, Pavarotti, Pygopus, Crocodile, Polluty Dumpling, Current Bun and Clump Bus, Sex, Lethal, Saxophone, Sun and Bride of Seven Less. Brainiac, amnesiac, giant, runt and tailless. La 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 la. There's double parked, deadpan, dax, hunt and dodo, mastermind, menage a trois, nautilus and Nemo, hot socks, hunchback, high wire, hedgehog, homeless, hamlet and hippo, tubby tin man, take out t shirt, talking tango, torpedo. La 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 la. A fruit flies DNA. Has
understands lots of code. That is just dross and filler. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> but these genes and some others are what make it a drosophila. La 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 la. Thank you so much. I'm assuming that in Slido, there's some kind of standing ovation occurring right now. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh no, I'm not the one giving the speeches. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, let, that, um, I'll let that happen from the winners. Now, uh, just in case any of you are skeptical that they were not all fruit fly genes, I wanna give a special thanks to Katerina Chutzipli at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. She has confirmed they are indeed all fruit fly genes however bonkers they actually sound. So uh, it's now time to put away the ukulele and hand over to the presenter of our first award tonight, the Commitment Prize. And like me, his background is also in physics, not biology, but I'm happy to report he's now fully crossed over from the dark side into the light. Please welcome the Head of Public Engagement at Welcome Genome Campus, Kenneth Skeldon. Thank you very much, Helen. Gosh, how do you follow that? I'm not even going to try. Um, into the light, in, indeed. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, just to add my thanks uh, to all of you for uh, joining us today. Uh, as Julian had already said, with 27 nominations come into the Connecting Science Public Engagement Prizes this year, and we'd normally be operating out of this magnificent site. This is the virtual campus behind me. Um, and we've been really heartened by to see how staff and students have continued their commitment to public engagement even through these really unusual times where so many of us are, are working remotely and uh, working from home. Uh, so I'm here today to present this year's uh, commitment to public engagement prize. And it goes without saying that um, public engagement, good public engagement needs time, needs thought, and it needs a lot of commitment. But listening to audiences' needs and looking to sustain those longer relationships, one of the things that our commitment prize looks for it was a competitive category this year, and so much so that in the end, we decided on two winners, um, each of whom impressed us with their long-standing records uh, of public engagement um, embedded into their work. So I'm pleased to announce uh, the first winner in the 2020 commitment category is Nicole Wheeler, uh, who is a data scientist at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. And before Nicole receives her award, let's just see a taste of her work. Encouraging conversations around public attitudes towards antibiotic resistance has been identified as a priority by the World Health Organization. Nicole Wheeler, a data scientist at the Wellcome Sanger Institute, has invested significant effort into this global commitment. Nicole has been a main developer of the Disease Detectives Activity, for example, which aims to explore trust around public health issues such as vaccines. She has also recently been invited to join Outbreak, an Australian initiative to build the world's first AI-driven surveillance engine for monitoring and forecasting antimicrobial resistance across the country. Lately, she has been working on educational programs that bring the fundamentals of AI and big data into schools. Beyond teaching about this technology, Nicole's aim is also to stimulate students to explore their own perceptions about this pioneering science and, in turn, help inform her own research. Um, I'd like to say a really big thank you to the people who nominated me for this award uh, and to the Connecting Science team for selecting me as a joint winner. Um, I also want to say a big thank you to the Connecting Science team for all of the help and encouragement that they've given me um, since I started at Sanger. I'd never done public engagement before I started here and the team were fantastic with sharing um, examples of other activities they'd run, um, helping my team and I develop our ideas, helping us organize events and also rounding up eager participants. I know that a huge amount of work goes into organizing events and making sure that they run smoothly. So I wanted to say a very special thank you to everyone involved in making that happen. I also wanna say a very big thank you to my team at the Center for Genomic Pathogen Surveillance. 
whether you showed up on the day for our activities or you helped um, in some way to develop them, you've all contributed amazing ideas. You've thrown yourselves and all of your expertise into our activities and many of you have shown up and worked really hard in the events that we've run. You've each brought something really unique and valuable to the activities. I couldn't have got this award without the help of so many um, other people, both on campus and off. I wanted to also thank um, our partners in the Global Health Research Unit who helped out with disease detectives and ran their own activities. Uh, Beth, Fahad and Haley for helping out with disease detectives the teachers from Castle Manor Academy and Wimbledon High School for helping with school activities, and also the wonderful people who I've met through Mozilla Festivals who helped develop um, activities around artificial intelligence. This work has been a huge highlight of my time at the Sanger Institute, and it's helped inform the work that I do and the research program that I've mapped out. Um, for anybody who is watching who is considering trying public engagement, I would really encourage it. You can start very small by helping out with existing activities or the Connecting Science team can provide a huge amount of help in turning even a small idea into a fantastically run um, activity or event. We've really seen this year the importance of building trust between scientists and communities and of bridging what we do with people's everyday lives. Public engagement is so important in making sure that the public has a chance to ask questions to better understand what we do and to better picture what their future might look like. It's also really critical to help us make sure that the science we do ultimately serves society. I'm very proud of the work that we have done together and I'm really excited to continue to build on this in the future. Um, so I have received this in the mail, which I will open now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well done, Nicole. Many congratulations. Very well deserved. Um, and now to our second winner in the commitment category, and who I'm delighted to announce is Maria Juca Correa. And Maria is a research fellow at the Wellcome Sanger Institute and has been a long-standing um, and passionate champion for engaging with schools and the public. Uh, Maria, your certificate is winging its way through the magic of Zoom. Um, but meantime, uh, let's just take a, a look at your work. Connecting our science with communities for mutual benefit is an important part of our public engagement mission. Maria's commitment to public engagement has allowed families and school children around the globe to get closer to research on worm parasitic diseases. Maria Duque Correa is a research fellow at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. She has recently co-developed a year-round program of immersive experiences for students aged 7 to 11, allying the science of infection and molecular biology with the school's curriculum. This program of engagement has helped the school to obtain the primary science quality mark. This follows from her previous work from 2018, in which she fostered deeper understanding of a worm parasitic disease in Colombia within the Worm Hunters Project. Maria's aspiration is to create better health outcomes for people affected by the infectious diseases she studies, whilst raising awareness and inspiring students to see themselves as scientists in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much for this recognition to my efforts in public engagement. They are an integral part of my scientific life. These efforts and their achievements are no individual. Each of the projects I have led or been involved at are the product of collaborations with wonderful colleagues. Those that work in public engagement, but scientists as, as myself have taken the time to listen and discuss ideas, have guided and taught me on how to implement the diverse strategies that we have planned and together we have connected with diverse publics. I think a special recognition goes to the public engagement team at the Genome Campus and especially to Frank Gale, Laura Olivares and our former colleague, Steve Scott. To my fellow scientists, Susana Repo, 
Faye Rogers, Nancy Holroyd, Tafoka Makanda Ward. This couldn't be possible without the support of our team leader, Matt Berryman, who has always encouraged me to keep going with my public engagement team. And obviously I have to thank my colleague Gita, who has nominated me for this prize. I would also like to thank all my collaborators in Colombia at the University of Antioquia and here in the UK at the Great and Little Cherpur Primary Schools because they have enabled the connection with the children we have connected with. And finally, I want to thank my family and my partner, Jose Dianes, who is my major champion and who has supported my public engagement activities and have participated in some of them. I'm really looking forward to continue doing public engagement in the near and the long future. Thank you. I also got um, a package to look at. Thank you very much. Thanks. Oh, congratulations, Nicole. Congratulations, Maria. And thank you to Kenneth as well. We've had some absolutely lovely comments on the chat. Great work, Nicole, from Jeremy Airy. Uh, Bryony Jackson says, uh, congrats. Huge congrats, Nicole. Paul G would be so proud from Anton Petrov. And um, great event to be part of, says Samantha from the Youth STEM Award. Um, uh, Maria, some more love coming to you as well. Congratulations, Maria. Fantastic work from Catherine Gator. Uh, congratulations, Maria, from Rachel Berkson. Loving it, someone says. Uh, congratulations, Maria. And that's from, from Miss E. Coli. Wow, nice, nice to hear from you, Escherichia. That's, that's, that's great, fantastic. Uh, so um, to, uh, to move on, we need to present the Innovation Award. And for that, we have not just a scientist and a communicator, but someone who is an innovator herself. She is the creator of the fantastic resource that is the Your Digital Mentor podcast. And she's also principal bioinformatician at the Welcome Sanger Institute. Please welcome Christine Boinet. Thank you so much, Helen, for that wonderful introduction. I'm so honored to have been invited to here to present the Public Engagement Innovator Prize. This prize recognizes individual members of staff and students who have demonstrated outstanding proactivity and creativity in public engagement. This year's winner has shown through their work the commitment to sharing their knowledge and passion for biology and technology to people of all ages through the popular Genome Explorers activity. They continue to champion women in STEM and through their public engagement activities has been a role model for young aspiring scientists and stresses the need for mentorship to guide young minds to pursue STEM subjects. Their openness and humility to receive feedback from participants, teachers and colleagues refine genome explorers to what it is today, making this not only an educa educational endeavor, but an engaging and fun one, reminding everyone that science is cool and can be fun. Please join me in congratulating an outstanding and very deserving winner of the Public Engagement Innovator Prize, a senior software developer from the EMBL European Bioinformatics Institute and fellow woman in STEM, Joanna Calvary. Becoming a role model for young girls and encouraging them to pursue a degree in science has been Joanna's main motivation. Her interactive sessions at Cambridge Girl Guiding Day or at primary schools have been widely enjoyed, with teachers asking for more sessions to explore the science in greater depth. Joanna Calvari is a senior software developer at the European Bioinformatics Institute. She has spearheaded the development of a popular activity called Genome Explorers, which is based on her work with large databases. The activity introduces the difference between RNA and DNA in an innovative way, using hidden messages, making the session an exciting investigative journey. Her role with the public has not only changed the way in which she views her research, but also how she values herself as a mentor for women in STEM. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you, Christine. Uh, 
sorry, I just got my fairy colleagues in the room, so it's going to be a bit <laughs> noisy in here. Uh, I would like to start by thanking the Welcome Genome Campus Public Engagement Team um, for this award, um, and also everyone who worked very hard to uh, make this happen. Uh, I feel very honored to be receiving this award, given all the uh, fantastic activities running on campus, as well as the great competition. So uh, a big thanks. Uh, a big thanks also should go to my nominators, Rob Finn and Anton Petrov, especially Anton Petrov, who also contributed uh, to the development and delivery of the Genome Explorers activity. Uh, so I feel that this award uh, belongs to him as well. Uh, Anton, I know you're watching, so thanks a lot. Um, and last but not least, uh, I want to thank the people who work in the background to uh, help us shine. Uh, Bryony Jackson for her amazing ideas and infectious uh, enthusiasm. Spencer Phillips for um, creating beautiful designs for us. Kim Judge and Colin Barker for helping with the 3D uh, printed scanners that we had, um, uh, that we use in our activity. And of course, connecting science people for their continuous support and uh, guidance. Finally, uh, I'd like to say and close um, my talk uh, by saying that um, public engagement is so rewarding in many different ways and I'd like to encourage everyone to give it a try. Um, so now my award, I'm still in Cyprus so I received my award electronically. Um, <laughs> there it is. Thank you so much guys. Congratulations, Joanna, and thank you also, Christine. Uh, and the award for most classic video call contribution, where there's all sorts going on in the background that we can't see, also goes to Joanna tonight. So <laughs> congratulations for that. Uh, we've had loads of comments congratulating you. Um, a massive congratulations, so well deserved from Mike Norman. Um, Anton Petrov sends their congratulations. Rachel Berkson says, Genome Explorer and all the mentoring are huge achievements. And uh, uh, Rob Finn, who I understand uh, was one of your nominators says, well done, Joanna. Um, how many soft, cuddly puppies did you massacre on Friday afternoons to generate Genome Explorers? Um, I don't want an answer to that question because I, I think we're not gonna like it. So <laughs> let's move on to the next award. Um, oh, uh, Joanna's just uh, replied, <laughs> I can't recall the number, dot, 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 guilty. Uh, we are very lucky to have our next guest uh, who's just taking a few moments away from the epic task of wrangling a mountain of COVID-19 data from across Europe. So very quickly, we hope, so he can get back to it, uh, to present the award for advocacy in public engagement, please welcome director of EMBL, is it EMBL? Embles European Bioinformatics Institute. It's Rolf Atweiler. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I must say I'm very impressed by the work of the different nominees for, for this year's Connecting Science Public Engagement Prizes. I believe that reaching out to the public and involving audiences is more important than ever and crucial to make our work even more accessible and relevant to society. This year's Public Engagement Advocacy Prize recognizes those who have enabled positive changes in public engagement through leadership and guidance. However, before I announce the winner, I want to highlight one individual who has been highly commended in this year's advocacy category. It's our head of, Emble EBI's head of external relations, Lindsay Crosswell. She has played a key role in advancing Emble EBI's support and strategy around public engagement. So congratulations, Lindsay, your work in this area is very, very much appreciated. But now I'm delighted to announce our 2020 Public Engagement Advocacy Prize winner, someone with whom I've worked with and know well. I'm proud and honored to deliver this prize to my fellow Saffron Warden cyclist and EBI's leader of the microbiome informatics team, Rob Finn. Congratulations. <laughs> By providing space, time and resources for public engagement within his team, Rob has encouraged colleagues to embrace opportunities that support research culture change. 
Rob Finn leads the Microbiome Informatics Group at the European Bioinformatics Institute. He has made a commitment to view public engagement through the scientific life cycle, recognizing the role played by the many engagement champions within his team. Leading by example, Rob has actively taken part in citizen science projects, such as the Ocean Sampling Day, of which Emble EBI was part of. He has also been a guest in the popular Mac Twins show and an invited speaker at New Scientist Live. Rob believes that public engagement is a fundamental part of a researcher's role and advocates the importance of embedding engagement practice into research and innovation. Thanks very much, Rolf. Thanks for the kind words. Um, so I feel very honoured and uh, humbled to accept this prize. As, as you've just heard, this reflects very much a team effort. This is not just me. It's, it's a whole team that have been engaged. Um, so many of the past and present members of my team have sort of contributed in, in various aspects. So you've just heard about Joanna and Anton Petrov as well, who uh, established the Genome Explorers. Uh, as part of that process, that's involved team meetings where everyone's participated and hopefully learned something as well, which is slightly scary, um, about public engagement and science. Um, there's other people who I'd like to mention. So particularly uh, Alex Almeida. Um, so he has also taken um, on a number of different mm -hmm. public engagement um, efforts. So he's... Uh, participated in Sci Cafe. Uh, and he's also done another, a separate New Scientist event. I'd like to thank uh, Lorna Richardson for uh, not only putting up with me as being the coordinator of my team, but also for nominating me um, and for the connecting uh, science team for selecting me. But with all of these activities, it goes beyond just my team. Um, so uh, Rolf, I didn't realize that Lindsay was also nominated, but Lindsay Crosswell's team has been uh, really in integral to everything that I do. So, so Mary to Todd um, Bergman, who's now left EBI, she was the first one who was really trying to push me and get, in trying to get me to engage with the, 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 the wider general public. Uh, Spencer Phillips, uh, whose graphics are amazing and has transformed my talks. So when I am maybe less interesting to actually uh, have these nice visuals that captures people's imaginations is, is brilliant. I'd also like to highlight Steve Scott um, from the campus public engagement team because he was the one who really sort of flagged the, the uh, New Scientist Live to me um, and really sort of said, look, let's go for this, it'll be fine. And I must admit, it was one of the most apprehensive talks I've given. Uh, so scientists I can deal with, general public, yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, and Bryony Jackson as well. So she's been really integral about the New Scientist Live, but also getting me to think about different ways of engaging with people. Um, so now we're, we're developing a, a citizen science project. Ultimately, all of the, the public engagement activities are built upon excellent science. And I believe that EMBL EBI and campus as a whole offers the opportunity for doing excellent science. And there's great collaborations that go on. So uh, Trevor Lawley's team, uh, not only do we collaborate very closely, but um, Hilary Brown has also been involved with uh, many of the public engagement activities and done something with Alex Almeida. And finally, I sort of, as much as I would like to encourage you to, to participate in public engagement, you shouldn't really be thinking about this. It should just come naturally. And really, the, the biggest thanks I think I want to, to pay is to uh, the general public um, who aren't afraid, afraid to ask questions or to you know, come up to, to us and, and start asking these questions, uh, no matter how old or young. Um, it's been quite enlightening to hear some of the questions. I take it as the biggest credit yet that microbiome featured in the Bake Off in the previous series, and therefore I feel that I've made it in a career. Um, and really, I think it's really important that we demystify science and allow the general public to understand 
why we do what we do and how that can make change and change for the better going forward. So thank you very much. I have my prize here. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Rob, and thank you, Rolf, for presenting that award. Um, <laughs> the chat is flooded with congratulations, Rob. Uh, Bryony Jackson says, you're an inspiration to your colleagues. Excited for launching the cuddly microbiome in the future. That sounds fantastic. Uh, outstanding leadership, Rob. Congratulations from Jeremy Airy. Uh, and also from uh, Ms. E. Coli is back. This time to say a wonderful to see senior researchers being involved and supporting others to be involved in public engagement. So important. Congratulations, Rob. And uh, one more, Laura Bellingham. Congratulations, Rob. Advocacy is so vital to embed engagement in research. Fantastic. This is all wonderful stuff to hear. Now, um, I've had a couple of questions that have come through to me. Uh, Rachel um, Berkson, Berkson uh, asks, who drew the cartoons on the awards? They are so cute. Uh, the cartoons on the awards are by Laura Olivares Boldu, who works for the public engagement team. Uh, so thank you, Laura. They've clearly been gleaning a lot of comments in the chat box there. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I've also been asked um, about this. Uh, okay. uh, this, is, um, this is an artwork by Lucy Sparrow, who creates felt versions of um, common um, grocery um, items. So uh, if you want to look up Lucy Sparrow, let's, let's bring the art into the STEM environment and let's do vice versa as so many of our award nominees and winners are doing already. And that's exactly what they're being rewarded for tonight. So uh, we will move on to present the next award, which specifically celebrates the essential but sometimes hidden contribution of technical staff to public engagement. It couldn't be done without them, and to present this award, it couldn't be anyone else but the Technician Commitment Manager at the Welcome Sanger Institute, Borju Brona Anar. Thank you, Helen. Um, I'm definitely uh, very excited, actually, to be part of this ceremony. I feel like a celebrity. Uh, mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, public engagement team for creating the technical staff prize category. This year, this is, this is the first year it is included in the awards uh, ceremony, and it is probably one of its kind. I also would like to thank, thank Kelly Veer, who is the program director of technician commitment uh, for her involvement in the jury. Many of the technical community members at Sanger, as we call them techs at Sanger, have been contributing to public engagement activities as STEM ambassadors for years, as I have witnessed myself personally. It is great to see the recognition of their contribution with a dedicated prize from Connecting Science. Technicians and technical experts comprise more than half of the Sanger Institute staff, extending to six different job families. As I mentioned, this is the first year for the technical prize um, staff prize category, and we have joint winners. In fact, the first one is Valerie. Valerie has been involved in public engagement activities since 2009, reaching many different audiences and on many different settings. Valerie is an advanced research assistant from Mars Pipelines. Next to her involvements in campus activities, Valerie has taken a prominent role in a number of public activities in recent years. As a passionate champion in public engagement, Valerie has taken science to many different audiences. Her sessions with senior students, for example, have played an influential role in their learning journeys. So this is how basic science is used in real life. I can apply this to my A2 level studies. Valerie Vankily is an advanced research assistant at the Welcome Sanger Institute. 
She calls on her skills and experiences to create open and considered dialogue on the sensitive topic of animals in research. In an effort to reach underserved audiences, Valerie has taken her expertise into a variety of different settings. Recently, this has included prison visiting sessions and also rising to the challenge of delivering accessible, sensory balanced experiences for people with autism. Thanks, Berju, and hello, everyone. As Berju stated, I've been doing public engagement for quite a while now. And I came into it almost accidentally, responding to an email asking for volunteers to help with the Cambridge Science Festival, but I've never really looked back. I've always just really enjoyed interacting with people, seeing how they respond to the activities, and particularly when they understand answers to questions or what the science can do for them. This has been particularly great when dealing with audiences who might not have otherwise thought that science was interesting or particularly relevant to them. So I'd really like to thank my line managers, Chris and Emma, for having been as supportive as they were when I expressed interest in doing public engagement and allowing me to take up the training or participating in events that took place during work time. And I'd also really like to thank the public engagement team for all the support and training they provided over the years with the interesting activities and different events, particularly Fran, Becky, and Steve, because they both, they've all helped greatly. And finally, I'd like to thank anyone who's ever come to the different activities and events because it wouldn't work without your help and participation and all the interesting and sometimes very tricky questions you've asked over the years have been great and Finally, I'd like to say that anyone who hasn't done any public engagement, I'd say give it a try because it's very fun and I think you'll greatly enjoy it. Like everyone else, I've got a package here to open now. Thank you. Congratulations, Valerie. I wonder how everybody actually waited to open those wonderful <laughs> packages. I, I don't think I could uh, really <laughs> resist the <laughs> wait. Um, actually, our joint winner in public engagement uh, technical staff category is Sophie. Sophie has motivated students to understand the importance of technical skills uh, and the vital role technicians play in the advancement of science. She is an advanced research assistant from Cellular Generation and Phenotyping Team, CGAP. Sophie is also part of Technician Commitment Team, and I really enjoy working with her. She has been an important part of the initiative. We got to see what they do in the lab. The session was just perfect. I'd like more equipment to touch and see. I want to know more about this job. By showcasing her own career, Sophie has introduced secondary school students to the vital role that technicians play in science. She likes to bring props, pipettes and other lab equipment into schools to introduce what a real lab looks like and what technical jobs in science entail. Sophie is an advanced research assistant at the Wellcome Sanger Institute and is part of the Human Cell Atlas. By devising activities inspired by the Human Cell Atlas, she delivers challenging but stimulating sessions about cells and their function, while spotlighting the role technical skills play in advancing the science. Thank you so much for this award. Um, I feel very honoured. Public engagement is a very rewarding addition to my work. I love sharing my work and scientific knowledge with all pupils. It really adds a different dimension to my work, which I love being a part of. I would like to thank public engagement for doing an excellent job organizing these events and engaging with the community. Without the public engagement team, I wouldn't have the opportunity to fulfill work such as this. I'd like to say a particular thank you to Francesca Gale for supporting us STEM ambassadors and for setting up these collaborations with the schools. 
Louise Walker was also very instrumental in helping to set up the presentation and the development of the HCA card game that we used for the schools. Also, thank you, Berju, and the technician commitment for this award. I'm very passionate about the technician's commitments, and I believe it's fundamental that we go and speak to school pupils about their careers and tell them how we got into science and got to work at the Sanger as technicians. I would also like to thank Alex Canet-Font for her hard work putting these presentations and storyboards together. Alongside the animators, you have really brought my work in public engagement to life. I hope in the future to continue working with schools and the local community to promote our science, whether this is virtually or physically. Public engagement is key for the promotion and understanding of science amongst people of all backgrounds and ages. Um, so thank you once again, and I'd like to encourage you all, if you haven't given public engagement a go, uh, to please take part. So thank you for my award. Thank you. Congratulations, Valerie. Congratulations, Sophie. And thank you, Berju, for giving out that award. For the, for the first year of a category to have not one, but two fantastic winners just shows what an important contribution technical staff are already making to public engagement. And the chat window is a frenzy of congratulations. Uh, Nicole just says, Yay, Valerie, congrats. <laughs> and uh, We've got uh, Catherine Gator, well done, Valerie. Great to see technicians recognized this year in a dedicated award. Uh, well done, Valerie. You are a great ambassador for the Institute, says Stephen Zemke. And fantastic work, congratulations. Amazing work, well done, from Becky and from Rebecca Milford. Um, Sophie, you haven't been left out. Um, <laughs> we've got, Catherine says, go Sophie. I hope that's encouraging, not an instruction to leave. Um, it's great to see technical skills brought to the fore in schools. It really brings it to life. Congratulations, Valerie and Sophie, inspiring technicians. Well, that one was anonymous, so I, I, it might have been another technician, but we like to think it wasn't. Uh, congratulations, Sophie. You've worked so hard and make a great contribution to public engagement with Charlotte. And finally, Valerie and Sophie, fantastic work with hard to reach and disadvantaged groups and in helping young people to understand about technical careers. Wow, says Jeremy Airy. So thank you so much, uh, um, Virtu, for awarding those two brilliant uh, award winners tonight and now we have reached the final award of the night so to present the collaboration prize we have a guest who has been no stranger to collaboration throughout his extensive career so please welcome director of the welcome sanger institute and welcome genome campus chief executive officer it's mike stratton good afternoon everybody I'm really delighted to see the incredible work that's been led by our public engagement champions. You know, many congratulations to all winners and to all nominees. So I'm here today to deliver the collaboration in public engagement prize. And collaboration is at the core, of really everything we do at the Wellcome Genome Campus, both in the research institutes, the Wellcome Sanger Institute and EMBOL European Bioinformatics Institute, in Connecting Science, in the Biodata Innovation Center, and indeed in all parts of the campus. And this prize intends to celebrate individuals who've come together to embed public engagement into their work. I'm delighted to present this year's collaboration prize to the really remarkable Golden Eagle Project, an initiative which has delivered interactive science at a local prison during family visiting sessions. The Golden Eagle project has been initiated by Carmen diaz Soria, research fellow at the Wellcome Sanger Institute, and has flourished through the involvement of an extraordinary team effort involving Matt Klenthaus, Michal Spack, Valerie Van Colley, Leigh Rogers, Melanie Robinson, Stephanie Pryke, Sarah Widar, Lucy Thompson, James Baker, and Jamie Brannigan. Many, many sincere congratulations and a big thank you on all our behalf for this really inspirational endeavor.
there are unusual settings where science wouldn't normally have a space. With restrictive conditions comes the need to challenge traditional ways of engaging. The Golden Eagle Project aims to positively affect the lives of prisoners and their visiting families at a male prison in East Anglia through engagement that enriches the social dynamic of a visitor session. These interactions have changed the perception of what a scientist looks like based on the feedback gathered from families, guards and inmates. They have also provided accessible role models for children and families having no direct contact with science. Led by Carmen Diaz Soria, a postdoctoral fellow at the Wellcome Sanger Institute, collaboration has been essential for this project from the start, involving guards, prison staff and researchers from across the Wellcome Genome Campus. The project explores how engagement with science can help overcome barriers of interaction imposed by long-term separation of families in exceptional circumstances. Hello everyone, um, we're extremely honored to be given this prize. Um, this is a recognition to the volunteers, prison staff and families that made it all happen. I would like to thank the public engagement team, first of all, for their support throughout the project. To my PI, Matt Berryman as well, for his support with material and time, and to my family, my husband, Pavel, and my daughter, Alma, who have been there since the beginning. When we started this, this project, Michal, Steve Scott, Alejandro and I, we had the best intentions in the world, but we didn't really know and we were unsure about the outcome. To them, I would say thank, thank you for giving me the confidence that I needed for making this experience such a happy one. But most importantly, I would like to thank the rest of the volunteers who have given their time to be part of the Golden Eagle. This prize is for them as well. Matt, who did all the administration and read my funding applications, Valerie, Faye, Sarah, Melanie, Stephanie, James Baker, Jamie Brannigan and Lucy. And lastly, but not least, Susan from Public Engagement, who really also supported me and advised me on everything. Obviously, this project requires some complex organization. So I would like to thank all the members from Cell Block for discussing this with me the pros and cons of going into prison. And especially, Dr. Caroline Slansky, a criminology from the a criminology lecturer from the University of Cambridge, who one day got a random email from me, and the next day was at the Sanger to explore my idea of going into prison. It was really Dr. Lansky who, through her connections, actually enabled this project to start. For security for security reasons, I cannot mention the names of the prison staff, but of course, without their help, this project would not have been possible. I have to say that although I don't normally talk about the inspiration for starting this project, I thought today was a good day to say, um, to give a, a, a better idea of what inspired me to do it. The inspiration for this project came from my experiences as a child visiting a prison. And when someone close to you goes to prison, it feels like bereavement, like you've lost someone very close to you. It's very difficult and a scary time for families, but especially for children. And with this project, I wanted to make the experience of going into prison a bit more positive, but also show the children the beauty of science. And I wanted to show them that some random scientists from the Sanger Institute really care about them and wanted to really make them and encourage them to view science in a more positive light. And I think that's exactly what we have done. Thank you. So as Carmen has already acknowledged all the people who made this project possible, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Carmen, who's been an absolute heart and soul of this project. And as Carmen briefly mentioned, the inspiration for this project came from a very personal place, but she was able to take this moving experience and turn it into something extraordinary. So Carmen, I'd like to thank you for your determination, passion, empathy, and all of your hard work, which made this project come to life. Thank you for being an inspiring leader, but also a wonderful friend over the last eight years since we met here at the Sanger at the induction for new PhD students. And thank you for sharing this experience with us. And sharing is the key word here, I think, since it's a collaboration prize. 
And this project was enabled by the support of so many, many people, Steve and Alejandro, who were with us from the very beginning. All of our volunteers, the public engagement team, the prison staff, but most importantly, the participants. So I'd like to thank everyone who chose to participate and engage into conversations and activities with us. I'd like to thank for the inspiring discussions we had and stories we learned, making it a truly a mutual exchange. And I really have to stress it was a both ways exchange of ideas and thoughts that we all benefited from. And I will never forget the most amazing and um, inspiring chat with a 10 years old, passionately lecturing me about Alan Turing, climate change, and the suffragette movement in a prison somewhere in East Anglia. So I hope we not only stimulate the interest and promote the science itself, but also openness and inclusiveness in science, challenging the stereotypes and showing the scientists are people of different backgrounds, accents, and genders. So thank you for this award, which is a wonderful encouragement to continue this work. And I think it's time for us to open yes, so. our prayer. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations, Carmen, Michal, and the whole team involved in the Golden Eagle project. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us too to present that award. It's just it's so great to see public engagement that touches lives in challenging situations and and with an idea that started from somewhere truly personal. That really is the best of public engagement that I can see. Oh, uh, plenty of congratulations on the chat. Just so many, we're, we're not gonna be able to do all of them. Uh, Maria Duque Correa says, congrats Carmen and team, wonderful project. Um, Golden Eagle project is amazing. I'm so glad Carmen and the team won this well-deserved award, says Rachel Berkson. Uh, love this project, congratulations to all involved. Smiley face from Catherine Gator. Uh, Felicidades, Carmen. I know Yosefa would be proud. I know because we are from Pavel. Um, let's squeeze in one more. Um, oh, we've had thanks. From, uh, what a beautiful project made me really emotional. It's just like the Oscars. Uh, congratulations, Carmen and everyone involved from Bertu Bronner and uh, Fantastic, uh, the Golden Eagle project is inspiring and impactful. Congrats to all involved, you should be proud, says Stephen Zemke. And okay, one last one. Uh, Fran Gale says, I'm welling up here. What are you doing to me? It's the Hollywood effect. Sorry, Fran. There's nothing we can do about it. I blame Carmen and Michal. Uh, we've also had uh, one anonymous uh, comment that says, congratulations all and a massive thank you to the public engagement team for facilitating it all. And again, I'm going to have to do this smiley face. Uh, just so you know that, that, that that's exactly what it said. Um, <laughs> so uh, tonight, I think, um, has really brought it home to me that there are so many ways for public engagement work to be done and to be rewarding. And receiving a prize like one of tonight's awards is just one of the ways that it can be rewarding. So congratulations to all of the winners, but also Congratulations to all of the nominees whose commitment, hard work, communication skills and inspirational project ideas are also certainly being recognised tonight. Uh, of course, we can't let you go without a few more uh, thank yous. Our first and foremost thanks must go to Welcome, who have supported these prizes for a third year to recognise the most outstanding of the already outstanding public engagement work being carried out in so many different ways as we've heard tonight. And our huge thanks go to the judges who took on that difficult, I'd say almost impossible task of assessing the nominations. Uh, this year's judges, thanks to all of you. Helen Featherstone, Head of Public Engagement at the University of Bath. Catherine Gator, Equality and Diversity Programme Manager at Wellcome Sanger Institute. Annabelle Grieve, International Engagement Relationships Manager at the Wellcome Trust. Gerard Klevecht, Head of Molecular and Cellular Structure at Emble EBI. 
I think I got it right that time. Uh, Shadrach Mkansi, Science Awareness Platforms Manager at the South African Science Agency for Science and Technology Advancement. Kelly Veer, Program Director at Technician Commitment and Director of Technical Stills, Skills and Strategy, University of Nottingham. And Stephen Zemke, Head of Faculty Planning at the Welcome Sanger Institute. Thank you so much. That was such a tough job. And I know that you wish you could give everyone an award, but uh, to be honest, if you gave everyone an award, uh, we wouldn't be here right now. Uh, so <laughs> for our next thanks, um, we do have some important thanks to give, which is to join me in the chat window, if you could, to thank all of the staff who have worked furiously behind the scenes to make all of this happen during a global pandemic and that includes the connecting science team and the wider campus and also thanks to all of our presenters who've given up their time to be part of this celebration tonight thank you so much to all of you i'm going to give you a little uh, real clap instead of uh, a virtual chat window clap just here there we go i'll let you get your claps and standing ovations out for everyone involved and um finally i we need a conclusion I, I, I think I think we did an Oscar style ceremony. I think we did it. I think we did it justice. Um, there were some beautiful awards, absolutely stunning. There were some fantastic speeches. I definitely saw a couple of tears. I'm looking at you, Michal. And I, I do hope you spotted the costume changes as well. There haven't been any comments about it, but I've been working really hard here too. Obviously, I've been wearing pajama bottoms under each of these costume changes because we've got to keep it real. It's a video conferencing call. That's how we do things here. Uh, and of course, uh, like the Oscars, the final thing we had in place is a stellar audience sitting here and watching. So our final thanks must go to all of you at home if you're lucky, in an office, uh, for coming along tonight and celebrating with us. I know there's so many of you out there and it's great to know that you're here to support and celebrate this whole team and all of the award winners. Um, so just uh, to finish off, I've been Helen Arney. It's been a genuine pleasure to host these awards tonight. Thank you so much for all the love for the Fruit Fly Genome Song. I, uh, I will sing it at, at your request at any point over a Zoom call if you want me to. <laughs> if you want to find out what I do, um, you can Google it. To be honest, if you can't find me using a search engine, you really shouldn't be a researcher. Uh, but that aside, thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Enjoy your night. Winners, runners up, and everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>